It's time to put the right hand rocks in now. Same principle as before. Start with a bit of raw sienna. Using a three quarter brush. Burn sienna. I want three colours on at least. And again some darker colour. And with the wonder knife we'll just turn those into rocks. Just spread the paint around like that. Right, time to put the water in now. So I'm going to use the inch and a half sky and texture brush and very very lightly I want to brush in to start with a little bit of cobalt blue now there's a nice light bit coming through here so I'm going to try and miss that as it comes from the foreground into the distance around this corner let's just put that in like that this is the first coat I need to get depth to the water Right now I'm going to mix a bit of cobalt blue with a bit of green, sap green, just a bit of Payne's grey. I want to get a rich turquoise green because over this side it is darker. Just working around the rocks like that. Now there's a little fall here where the water's just falling over a little shelf. I'm going to come now to the round brush. I want some Payne's Grey, Cobalt Blue and just a touch of Sub Green. And I'm going to work back here, get some depth in there, look, just gently brushing across the peaks of the paper, leaving little white bits of paper uncovered. Just stroke it across like that. I want it to be darker down here. So basically I'm using Payne's Grey Bluish, a little bit of Cobalt Blue, a little bit of Sap Green. I want it darker on this side. A bit more water on the bush, that's what you've got to learn. Just working around these rocks here. Just going to stroke the brush across there, look with some paint in. Around here I want some darker colour, just to emphasise a little fall. I'm coming to a smaller brush now, my rigger. Pins grey, a bit of blue. Just following around here, the water runs off into the distance. More dark here. Just have a good wiggle. I need to get on with these trees. Take a bit of tissue, put it to a wedge. And we'll just take a line out of there, a little wind line like that. And I'll show you how to soften bits. I'm going to use this white water soluble crane now. I'm going to dip it in water. They're just sticks of watercolour. And I'm just going to soften little bits like this. I'll put a wind line in there, look. I'll just emphasize this white water trickling over there like that and I'll also use it to put a few little reflections of those trees down there like that same over here now we need to get on with the trees so I'm using a little bit of white acrylic now mixed with a bit of cadmium yellow light just a touch of green and I just want to give the impression of some foliage over here look see these little finishing touches make all the difference I'm not trying to paint every leaf but it does make a difference when you put something in like that bit of raw sienna now tied to it 
just to change the green a little bit. Just I want to give the impression of foliage. A bit more raw sienna, so that'll change the green, soften the green a bit. Right, let's put something on here, on the left hand side. Again, a bit more raw sienna, so I'll change the colours. I want this side to be darker, so I'm not going mad with it. A little bush there. Easy to stand back and keep having a look. Put a few little bits more there, light on the edge of the trees. And again, we'll just put some more down there, some really light now, just to make it sparkle. That's it, look. A few bits like that. Find a bit of acrylic watercolour mixed with traditional watercolour, allows the paint to stay on the top and you get this lovely effect. Right, that's it. I'm going to finish off now by putting a bit of shadow on the rocks to give them a three-dimensional feel. A bit of Payne's Grey. Plenty of water. We need to get this shadow on these rocks just to give them a three-dimensional feel. I'm just putting it on like that quickly then we'll move it around. Just move that around and blend it in. Then with the water soluble crane again, I'm going to just add a few highlights on the rocks using the side of it like that. These are just what I call sketches. I'm just showing you a, a wide range of techniques which hopefully will help you in your development. The big rock there, I'll lighten that a bit. And one final thing which will take about five seconds is I want a little bit of raw sienna and see where I've left the gaps of the white paper just by filling those in, it adds a bit of sparkle to the trees. Same here, look, very simple, and then we're finished. Just a useful little technique, this. Just put a bit of raw sienna in the gaps, and it makes your trees sparkle. And a bit along there where I've got the white of the bank. Two dark bits and we definitely finish this time. And a few dark bits, dot dot dash down there like that look. And there's our quick sketch. Well, there's our finished sketch. I've tried to show you a wide range of techniques. The techniques are used for putting foliage on the trees, how to do rocks using the wonder knife and so on. Hope you enjoyed watching me paint it. See you next time. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. Today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.